This lecture, The End of War Nears, tells the story of the war from D-Day to victory in Japan. This lecture will detail the following. D-Day, the foothold. The Germans are pushed back. The death of Hitler. Victory in Europe, or VE Day. The war in the Pacific. The atomic age. And finally, the aftermath of the war. Here is a basic summary of the defeat of the Axis powers in Europe from 1944 to 1945. First, we start with D-Day, then Allied bombing raids. The Allies advance from Western Europe, while the Soviets advance from the East. The death of Hitler, and finally VE Day, which stands for Victory in Europe. Here is a basic outline of the defeat of the Axis powers in the Pacific from 1941 to 1945. On December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor was attacked. The Americans then invaded the Japanese-occupied islands in the Pacific. Bombing raids took place on mainland Japan. The Soviets advanced from the north. The dropping of the atomic bombs took place on August 6 and August 9 of 1945. And finally, there was VJ Day, which means victory in Japan. For a visual overview of the events of 1944 to 1945, visit themapishistory.com and watch the map animation Allied Victory 1944 to 1945. The Foothold, D-Day. On June 6, 1944, Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, France. This would be the largest sea-to-land invasion in human history. Canadian troops were assigned to Juneau Beach. The Allies gained a foothold on continental Europe and within the next year would slowly push Nazi forces back. Canadians were given the task of liberating the Netherlands. Landing on the beaches of Normandy. This video clip provides an accurate portrayal of what soldiers faced on D-Day. Warning, this is a very graphic video clip. If you are not comfortable with viewing war scenes, feel free to move on. The Allies push back the Germans. Following D-Day, Allied ground forces advanced on the Germans from the west and the Soviets from the east. Frequent bombing raids, some including as many as 500 to 1,000 Allied aircrafts, destroyed major German cities like Munich and Berlin. The Germans made one last attempt to regain territory in what became known as the Battle of the Bulge. Following the brief reacquisition of some territory, the Germans began to retreat again. The death of Hitler. Surrounded by Soviet troops, Hitler and his wife, Eva Braun, moved to a bunker below the Chancellor's residence in Berlin, where he and Braun committed suicide on April 30, 1945. Hitler had first poisoned himself and then shot himself. His body was immediately burned by his guards before the Russians arrived. VE Day, Victory in Europe. The Allies had slowly pushed the Germans back over 11 months of intense fighting. This Allied plan was known as Operation Market Garden and had taken longer than expected. On May 7, 1945, Germany unconditionally surrendered. The war in Europe was finally over. The War in the Pacific War in Europe may have been over, but Japan still continued to fight in the Pacific. The Americans had recovered from Pearl Harbor and begun to invade Japanese-held islands in the Pacific. As the Americans liberated more and more Japanese-held islands, they came within bombing range of mainland Japan. The Start of the Atomic Age On August 6, 1945, an American bomber, the Enola Gay, dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, killing 71,000. The Japanese refused to surrender. Three days later, the Americans dropped another atomic bomb on the city of Nagasaki, killing 35,000. VJ Day, Victory in Japan On August 14, 1945, Japan surrendered. On September 2nd, they would officially surrender to American General Douglas MacArthur aboard the American ship USS Missouri, which had been heavily damaged at Pearl Harbor. World War II was finally over. 
The Aftermath of World War II World War II is over, but it had changed the world. Over 60 million had died. The Holocaust took place. There were many broken lives. The United Nations was formed to help resolve future conflicts. And the Atomic Age had begun. For more commentary on World War II, visit YouTube and search Crash Course World War II, episode number 38. Consider the question, does the narrator present an accurate view on the impact of World War II?